Breaking now, a possible new clue in a young boy's murder. The knife found in just the past few hours that could help police find the killer of 11-year-old Josue Flores. The story continues to get national attention as police look for Josue's killer. Today, a possible break not far from where he was killed. Good afternoon. I'm Keith Garman. And I'm Sarah Donchi. Police say the knife was found on North Main and Henry, about half a mile from where Josue Flores was stabbed to death eight days ago. We have team coverage on this breaking development. Let's begin with Kathy Hernandez, who was live where that knife was found. Kathy. Police, that woman had just bought some ice cream from a local business when she was walking on the street and then noticed the knife here in this storm drain on Henry and North Main. Police are now examining that knife, but right now say they don't know if it's connected to Josue's murder. Deep in a storm drain, a knife possibly used to brutally kill 11 year old Josue Flores. The knife was way at the bottom. A woman walking on Henry and North Main Wednesday morning noticed something unusual in the storm drain. And she looked inside and saw something shiny and believed that it was a knife. They say she drove around and tracked down an HISD police officer. Juan Cortez says the woman also stopped at Josue's memorial. Cortez hurried over, took this picture, and waited for officers. We looked at it. It was like covered in mud. We, we can't say if it's blood or not. Investigators are not connecting the two scenes. It could be a knife from anywhere. It could be a knife from that somebody just threw down there. It could be down there for weeks. But say neighbors need to call in their tips something Jose Trevino did last week. I noticed the same description coming down Quitman towards Main Street uh, with a patch like he had just got it bandaged. Everyone believes that's how police will catch Josue's killer. All of us together, communication, that's all we need, and bring justice to little Josue. And police say now they're searching local businesses to see if they can find some surveillance video to see who dropped that knife here in this storm drain. They're asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. They're offering a $15,000 reward. Reporting live in North Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And Josue's family has heard about the discovery of this knife. They are hoping it will lead to answers. Channel 2 Samantha Patashkin continues our team coverage from outside the family's home. I just don't want my brother to be forgotten. The older sister of Josue Flores still grieving and pleading with the public for answers to find the person who killed her loved one. No matter how small it is, it might be the thing that brings this person to justice. This afternoon, the family learned HPD found a knife several blocks from where Josue was murdered. Police now testing that knife to find out if it's connected to the case. I hope it is the knife, but I know it's been raining, so I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm trying to be realistic. Regardless of the results, the family's number one priority remains the same, finding the killer and bringing him to justice. I know he's watching. That was Samantha Patashkin reporting. Here again is the suspect description. Police are looking for an African-American man, 25 to 30 years old, between 180 and 200 pounds with short hair. At the time of the murder, he was wearing a black shirt, a green jacket over his shoulders, and black pants. If you know anything about this, call police. We are following a 